So today we're gonna to be doing a review of my bike, which is the 2021 Rockhopper Elite. So let's get straight into this review. This bike has a 1x10 Shimano Dior drivetrain. It also has a RockShox Judy Solo Air fork with 100 millimeters of travel. It also has Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. So now I'm gonna talk about what I like about this bike. All right, so one thing I like about this bike is the fork. It includes a lockout feature and a rebound adjuster. And you can also put air in it as we're about to show. So once you remove the cap, you thread your shock pump onto the valve. Make sure you don't get it crooked so you don't screw up your valve. And on this RockShox Judy Cellaware, it should have like a little graph thing down here to show you how much PSI you should put in. Over, over. How much PSI you should put in for your weight. All right, so this is how you put air in the fork. First of all, you need to twist off this little air cap. So lefty loosey like this. All right, so now I have about 100 PSI in there. So now I get threaded it off like so. And then now I put the cap back on there, if I could find the cap. All right, so once you got it threaded on, you could pump it up to the desired pressure. So for me, I'm gonna pump it up to the round 100 because I'm a little bit fluffy. So now that you got the cap on there, it's all good and ready to go. All right, so another feature I like about this bike is the comfy saddle. This is the Specialized Bridge Saddle. See, it's really comfy. Another feature I like about this bike is it has pretty good brakes. And these are super strong Shimano BRMT 200 brakes. All right, so now we're gonna talk about what I do not like about this bike. So the first thing I don't like about this bike is sometimes with a Shimano Dior derailleur, You'll push it backwards like this, or you'll try you like try to be doing a fakie, and then the chain automatically goes to the third cog, and it gets super annoying. So this is the third thing I don't like about this bike: it, the stock pedals on it are not grippy at all, and they break really easily. So that's why I put these chesters on it. That's leading into our next topic. The second thing I don't like about this bike is the grips. The grips just fall apart after a month of use. As you can see here, and on this side, here. So now, we're gonna be talking about the upgrades that I done to this bike. So the first upgrade that I did was get rid of the crappy stock pedals and put on these race face Chester pedals. These ones are super grippy and durable and they're great for the price. So the second upgrade that I done to this bike was I put these super cool brake lever grips on there. They like protect your brake levers and they feel so comfortable. All right, so the last upgrade that I had on my bike was I put a new wheel on it. The factory wheel got bent and cracked when I was trying to bunny hop onto a curb, but I kind of cased it. So yeah, I got a new wheel. So, would I recommend this bike? Yes, I would recommend this bike to any beginner that's willing to spend $950 on their first bike. All right. So overall, this is a great beginner bike, coming in with a low price of only 950 US dollars. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.